Hey, Kenny, man, he's got a big ass smile on his face. Oh, they got power. Look at that. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. Oh, that's and cool. uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. Oh, okay. So that's we tend awesome. to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. <laughs> Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. Everyone we're cool. calm down. Okay? Hey. Hey, we're cool. We're cool. Everyone, calm down. Hey, Dad, more people. Look! A Christmas tree. Not now, Sarah. <laughs> Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. <laughs> Kitty's like, the fuck is wrong with these people? Wait, I thought you lost that machete. The fuck? I guess you picked it back up. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Now, hopefully they have some people guarding. You know, hopefully. Because all the guns are at the front door. And that's not good. I thought when, when uh, Kenny was doing that, blah, 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 I thought his voice had gotten out of sync or something. Looking like fucking Santa Claus over here. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? <laughs> you know, yeah. I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's just hard not to think about it, you know? Yeah, he done lost his arm. Uh, Lee saved me. He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell yeah, he did. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. Yeah, you but were an ass the whole game. When my son... He took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? Uh, with Krista and Omid. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well... He done got shot. Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? How Where did you get you out been? of that alley? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Seriously. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Oh, don't talk to Ben like that. that. into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. How? Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Yeah, I'd say. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... Yeah, you've got kind of a governor beard going on right now. I didn't and then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. I didn't burn you that picture, up? did I? I, I Clem, really hope this is my girl, don't think I Sarita. hope I did. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet oh, you, Clementine. So hey, Walt, Basically, where's Matthew? she's Katja. He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Uh oh. Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? I can do that.
Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, Sure thanks. am. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? Sure. <laughs> so how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. It's a long story. It's a long story. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Yeah, I can imagine it's, uh... Everyone underestimates everyone me. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. <laughs> Once or <Sometimes>. twice. <laughs> Smart girl. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Uh, looks, looks great. Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Oh my gosh, really? Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone's comparing me to that shit. Alright. That's what I'm supposed to... I don't really look too much like her. Come on. <laughs> Clem's thinking that. Okay. Still have my lighter. I want to go back to the entrance. I really... I don't remember if I burned the paper of... Uh, Duck and his mom and all that. Pick up CD. Guess I'll put more music. Oh. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. I was five years old. Put that shit in there. Can I go a little bit faster? Can I not go towards the entrance? No, I want to go towards the entrance. <laughs> Wait, is it toward, is it almost Christmas time? Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. I guess you knew Christmas Kenny before. Time. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. What did he talk about you before? Must how did you so meet glad. him? So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. <laughs> Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Well, that's good. Uh, find a tree topper. Like this? No. What a funny little guy. Look at map. Where are we? This must be the uh like the lodge uh cable line track or something like that. Look at fireplace. Can I go this way? Come on. Come on, Glim. Pick it up. Hustle. Can I go this way? I want to go and get the paper that Kenny's kid had. Damn it. Right, damn it. Urgh. Nothing. Fine, fine, fine. We'll go find a tree cable, whatever the fuck, topper. Uh, dinner table, crappers. I guess I want me to go upstairs and look for something. Yes, yes, pretty lights. God, it's like Clem's wearing high heels right now. Jesus. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? You can't be sure. Uh-oh. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Probably. Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? 
Way down there. I saw lights. How? She's got binoculars, genius. <laughs> I saw lights. Which way did they go? They were Back going into toward... the woods. No, they weren't. We Looks cannot like they take were about any to cross chances. the bridge. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be we careful. We talked about Kenny. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get you a juice box. Uh-oh. I bet she's feeling super preggers right now. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? <laughs> well, I'm still here. Yeah, that's a good point. I know it's going to be hard. Of course. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. Well. She's kicking. You want to listen? I want to listen. It's it Do you want to feel? Huh? Can I? <laughs> She's going to be a runner. Well, without all the vaccines of today, she's going to have polio or scoliosis. Uh, how do you know? Well, how do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long, and, and then if Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to you do. You fucked Carver. You slut. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? So, I love you, silly bear. What's in the I box? I hate it when you call me that. I know. Silly bear. But I mean it. I love uh, you too. Let's get this. Get star. some rest now. Because the one girl doesn't celebrate Christmas. Put on the tree. I mean, you know, people put stars on top of trees even though they celebrate Christmas. Who cares? That's nice, I guess. Oh, come on. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. Um, the first time he met me, he called me Rita. What's so he I look call like? him Maddie now. Or where? It's kind of our little war. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Okie dokie. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? Yeah, he I seems a bit less before, like an asshole. And, well, I'm curious. He does seem different than I remember. Yeah. In what way? I'm not sure. He's well, less you of three an asshole. Been busy? I noticed. Kenny, <laughs> isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Oh my god. Never mind. He's the same asshole. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. <laughs> well, everyone, dinner is served. Kitty was Come a on, bitch. Let's see. Okay, man. Yeah, I'm just. I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Yeah, no shit. Just asshole. try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oh gosh, Joy says. Uh, I'm gonna go sit with the new group. 
Can you? Oh, come on. It's just a table. Calm the fuck down. They saved my so life. So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? I mean... I trust him. He seemed very accommodating for a bunch of people in a big house. I trust him. With your life? I think so. I, I wouldn't go that far, Clem. I trust him, but not with my life. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. Yeah. Thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family. Uh, Wife and kid. Kenny lost it a little bit. He lost bit. it a little after that. He lost it how? Well, he drinks. Oh. Well. He only drinks a little. I'm sure you haven't met him for months, so he may have stopped. Who knows? Jesus. <laughs> hey there. Hey. <laughs> Hope you like the food. Always that awkward kid oh, at the table. It's, it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> oh, my God, Kenny. <sighs> what the So, hell? it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? No. Wellington? What the hell is that? Krista, Krista and, place. and I were going yeah. there. Krista and I were going there. It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your <laughs> deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's please staying. Please, don't please fight. Please, don't fight. God. Gentlemen, please, there's no need for this. Now, look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Yes, stuff your mouths and shut the fuck up. Pass me that can, Duck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Duck? Who's Duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Leave him alone, Luke. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Oh, poor Kenny. Oh, the stress in his eyes. Oh, the feels. The one thing in the zombie fox of this world is a uh, fucking I'm sorry wind about turbine. That. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. <laughs> I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. Yeah. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. You're kind of creepy, guy. I'm not going to lie. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. I'm sure Clementine doesn't know who they are. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Of course. Right. And... I really hope Matthew isn't the guy that he shot. Oh, my God. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? Um. You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you can tell me that would surprise me. People are chasing us. I can us. promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Uh, hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Giving us a pep. Where the fuck did you come oh, from? Politics? The hell? 
Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. <laughs> Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. I guess I just get volunteered. Who the fuck is that? Miss? Whoa, whoa, it's the girl from 400 Days Later. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. Uh, we live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. The family? Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor just woman check her do? for weapons. Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Now, I remember Bonnie not being dangerous. I have a little girl like you. No, you don't. No, you How do not. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I don't know. I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. You do not have a little girl. Unless Here you, you like, are, Miss. had her recently. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. Passing you it too. forward. It sounds like you just got items in your inventory. Clam, go on inside and get to bed. <laughs> Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Yeah, talk. As in, gripe at him. Clementine. What the f Don't freak out. It's hard to when you're whispering like that. <laughs> Jesus. Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. Oh, God. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Oh, that was Matthew. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. Yeah, I figured it out. I know he out. was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It was an accident. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing. Man, I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. I'll just keep quiet. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. Might as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? Be I honest, gotta... it was an accident. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. No, it's not. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, alright? So either way, I have to hide the knife. Okay. Please tell me I didn't burn the fucking... Uh... It's gone. 
Oh. Oh my god.